So in the series of videos, we're talking about classification of functions. We have already had three parts before. If you have not seen them, go ahead and just see the previous concepts we have talked to you about. In this one, I'm going to talk to you about into functions. So we already know onto functions, right? So what happened for onto functions? You need each and every element of V having a pre-image. Unfortunately, in this case, what does not have a pre-image at all, so it's not an onto function these kind of functions are actually into functions so this is actually the reverse concept so mathematically even if you find at least one element of b which has no pre-image in a this will be an into function let's take an example and see also what we need so there exists b in capital b which that there's no a which is getting back to b you can clearly see this particular one which is c there's no such element which is getting mapped to C, so definitely it's an into function. Let's take some example. The first one, it's not into. If you remember the previous examples that we considered, this is actually onto, so this is not into because all the possible elements you take in B, they have the pre images here. You have A as well as D, but you don't have to find out to at least one of them will be enough. But I'm just pointing out that you can actually have elements which are not adding the images. So this is into. All right. So here is the basic thing that you need to notice. As I have told you that for onto function, the range should be equal to the codomain. There should not be anything which is left out between range and codomain. Here the range should be a strict subset, a proper subset of the codomain. So you can at least have one element which is in the codomain, but not in the range. So it's not having any pre-image. Let's see one more example, which is in the roster form, fx equals to mod x. Now, what do we want? We want more than one element, which is not having, you know, at least one element, which is not having any pre-image. I'm taking minus two in R. This R is the codomain. As you can see, the function is from R to R. Unfortunately, you cannot have any output input where the output is negative because we are talking about the modulus function. So this is actually, you know, on to. This is not on to, so this is into. Now here is the thing which is very, very important. The range of the mod function is R plus union zero. So it's either zero or you know positive real numbers and the codomain is r so it's a strict or proper subset so that is why this is into so clearly i hope you understand the classification of functions here what we have talked about so far onto and into function and they got generated due to the existence of the image onto has this one whereas into fails to have the existence of the image so we are done with these two concepts of existence and uniqueness of the image. In the next one, I'm going to talk to you about bijective functions, which is the last one on this classification of function series. So stay tuned.